This week on the Vic Meyer Show, I'm at the center of the world. But first, I dance folklorico. It's a Mexican folk dance uh, with a group called Kukoti. It's a uh, Nahuatl language for beautiful. I'm here at Our Lady of Grace Catholic Church in Maricopa, Arizona. No, I'm not here to confess my sins. I'm here to see me Prima Sylvia. out there this is my cousin <laughs> hello, hello. so she was doing the wonderful dancing out there I just think uh, maybe if you have a moment here tell myself and my viewers just what we were watching okay um, I dance folklorico it's a Mexican folk dance uh, with a group called Kukoti it's a uh, Nahuatl language for beautiful for folklorico dancers we dance uh, different regions of Mexico Today, um, we had dances from Sinaloa, Jalisco, uh, Chiapas, uh, and Veracruz are some of them that we dance. It's a hobby of ours. We take donations. Uh, it's just a fun thing to do for <laughs> well, us. And you're also preserving culture too, right? Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. We don't share that culture, but I've always enjoyed being part of it. And you've always included uh, Eric and myself and, and always called us primo. And <laughs> it always makes me feel very happy. So it's nice to see you doing something to help preserve that culture you make feel so special thank you yes absolutely i i want to do everything to to well, hold up my, my mexican culture but definitely <laughs> you yes. did a great job too isn't thank she you. wonderful <laughs> i'm telling you i'm so lucky oh thank you love you primo <laughs> love you too <laughs> this week on the vic meyer show i find myself in the middle of nowhere off grid and at a bar Stay tuned for more. All right, here I am in courtside with my friend Jenny. Hello. Jenny and her lovely doof wagon. <laughs> We're going to get some work done. There's an entire building store here. And I'm so happy to be here in the beginning stages to see it all come together. And maybe even help a little bit. See if I remember how to use my tools. <laughs> You're like, hey, damn it. You told me you know how to use those things. Right? <laughs> All right. I appreciate any help. Well, of course, Jenny. It's my pleasure. And let's see if I actually can help. So I'm going to put this camera down and pick up some tools. how we do this, you know? You make it do what it do. Show us how it's, how it's done. done. Jenny. Bam. Uh, I need to hammer that in more. So when you need to uh, set nails, you grab a nail set. Clean. Good work. Thank you. 
You too. I'm not a videographer, so. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, yeah, you didn't even press stop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just want you to have more footage to go through. Right. Well, I have audio, that's for sure. Nail sets. <laughs> Nail sets. Sweet. Nail things. <laughs> As you can see, we got the counters set in place. That butcher block countertop will be cut to size, but Jenny's got to figure out what size that's going to be, right, Jenny? I'm not good with commitment. We've already talked about that. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful place to cook and share good times with good friends yeah that's right <laughs> hi where are we heading jenny desert bar all right there we go here i am this amazing spot out in the middle of nowhere called the desert bar just outside of parker arizona off some pretty beaten roads, he will find the desert bar in the sight of some pretty epic off-roading desert scenery, a cool old mine, and a fun bar, and live music. All right, here we are at the desert bar. I can't wait to see what's inside. Desert Bar, are you closed? Uh, yeah. All right. Cheers. Closes down early, so. Welcome to Felicity, California, where we hold the official center of the world seal. We are also the history of humanity in Granite Outdoor Museum. You heard that correctly, the center of the world. No, not El Centro, it's near there, but we're talking about the geographic center of the world, right here in Felicity, California. Let's uh, head inside and learn more about the center of the world. So here we are, the gift shop, and office where you check in. You want to go ahead and pay your fee? Ten dollars. Ten dollars per person. Uh, is it the same price for children? No. So children is five dollars if they're uh, five to thirteen. Excellent. Under five is free. Well, that's great. So this here is our first monument, and this is the arm of God, according to Michelangelo's painting of the Sistine Chapel. Here at Felicity, we have the hand facing true north and pointing straight towards the pyramid and the church. Everything here is aligned with true north. Time. Each one of these black dots is one hour, so you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. As you can see, the shadow right now where it's pointing 
it's after four before five but if you check your phone it's not going to match because we are in california but we do not stick to california time we work directly with the sun and the sun does not do daylight savings so we actually <laughs> stick to mountain standard time here fair enough okay all right the creation here we go very nice there thank you go. thank you center of the world here is based off of a children's book called Ko the Good Dragon that lives at the center of the world. And our first monument that you saw in the video that actually was ever put out here in the museum is the United States Marine Corps Korean War Memorial Wall. And our founder actually served in the Marine Corps during the Korean War era. And so it was a very meaningful monument and it was the first one that went up in this entire museum. Down the center you're going to see history of California and Arizona. After that you'll see the United States of America. And then you're going to pass a smaller version of the Liberty Bell. That you're going to be able to read. Then where the benches are you're going to see animals of the world, oceans of the world, and planet Earth. Further back you're going to see all the monuments are pointing inwards towards the Rosetta Stone. And that is the history of humanity. We begin with the Big Bang Theory. And so far we have engraved up to the Renaissance. You will see some monuments that are completely blank and that's because there's still a lot more history that needs to get written. If you've ever wondered what 150,000 tons of earth looks like, that's the Hill of Prayer. All of that dirt was completely collected from here in this property. It's only 49 steps up to the top and you're able to go up to the church, up to the altar, sit in the chairs, read from the Bible, anything you need as long as you stay respectful. you can't get lost or trapped inside it is an open maze um, and it's a beautiful labyrinth to walk it's getting filled up with 12 by 12 plaques of granite stone that are engraved with anything anybody that comes through here wants to add to the museum so Very I see, cool. like, wedding photos and family photos and even pictures of pets you know military yeah. memorabilia all kinds of different things so it's interesting to see what humans find wow. the sound is amplified Right here in the center, where it's quite amplified. <laughs> simple mind, simple pleasures. This is so rad. So welcome to the official center of the world. This is it. So the tradition in here has been that every person comes in to face true north, which is straight towards the church with the beautiful chocolate mountains in the background, and you make a wish. All you have to do is show us a picture of you holding your certificate inside of the pyramid. Oh. So I can take a picture of you holding it. You want to just hold this? Yeah. Does this take pictures too, or are you going to have to screenshot it I'll later? I'll screenshot it. There we go. Ah, hey, that's a good camera. Hold on. I want to get your foot on there. Perfect center of the world. Yeah, perfect world. <laughs> the fact I want to give you is that all the artwork you see out here is completely done by hand on the spot by our engravers with the Dremel. Wow. Yeah. So that is just a human skill that is very rare. We, it's hard to find people that are really good at engraving and granite. Um, but it's a very interesting and unique skill. You should definitely, definitely you can touch it, you can feel it, you can see it's wasn't that fun i love getting to get out and meet people you know i love going to interesting places but wow this place has been a lot more than i suspected in fact if you're just driving by it looks like nothing's going on it's a quite a vast property so it's really easy to look like the place might even be closed there just simply is not enough time to really take my time good news is I get to come back and I'm already paid I really love the opportunity to be able to come out and do stuff like this and I hope you enjoy it we've established the need for me to come back and do a 
do some more investigating around here. I would just love to take the amount of time it might take to walk by and look at each one of these plentiful exhibits one at a time. Man, I really had no idea the size, scope, scale, whatever you want to call it. I had no idea how big this place was and how much there is going on here. I mean, really, I had no idea just how enormous this place is and how much there is to see. I had a little idea. That's why I stopped. But man, this is really, really huge. Quite interesting. Quite beautiful. Just love this time of day. Well, I'm glad I finally got to check out the center of the world. Hope you enjoyed our visit. There are much more pressing issues. I'm glad I stopped, but I've got to get back out on the road. This is the Vic Meyer Show. Stay tuned. Remember, when you're out there driving, keep it between the lines. Look out for Smokey, because he's looking out for you. And, as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably. This is the Vic Meyer Show.